Yes, hello my good people. This is uh, Charles Lennox and uh, we we did divorce part one. I want to do divorce part two and I want to talk about, I want to concentrate on men. How men react to divorce, men that were divorced, that took divorce and men that went through divorce. There are three types of men. There are those that were left by the wife and there are those that decided to leave their marriage and there are those that went into an agreement with their wife and they said um, enough is enough we cannot take it anymore we need to call it an end to it to this and so their their, their reaction is different but two of them that the, the man that decided to leave and that that comes into an agreement to the wife their their, their reaction uh, is similarly the same and so I want to talk about the one that is left by the wife. You know, many people will never thought of it eh? that men go to, through depression, that men go through difficult times. A man that is left by the wife, most men that are left by their wife, they go through depression, they go through difficult times, they go through, they go through a period, a difficult period. Eh? Some of them result into alcohol some of them will not marry soon you know a man that is left by the wife they will go years without getting married they will they will they will just they will see when whenever they see a woman they will see that woman as a, as a, as similarly to the wife that left and so they will go through hard times you know i don't know if you've come through such men they will go through hard times it's because they were left by their wife and then there is this other category of men the man that decides to leave the man that decides to leave he decided to leave long before he was in that marriage but the time that he revealed he was leaving it was not the time that he had called it an end i don't know if you're getting me he had called it an end even before way before long before while he was in that marriage he had already called it an end and so when he is out, when he's announcing that he's going out, he, he had already made his mind. And perhaps uh, he had already even found somebody else. You see? And so this other man will react differently. He may go into another marriage immediately and perhaps become very happy in, the, in, the, his, in his next marriage. And perhaps, you know, he will not go through depression. He will not go through difficult times. He will not go because he was prepared for that step that he took. And so there are those men that decide to leave. A man who decides to leave is a man that most likely will not go through depression. I'm just talking about uh, how men take divorce. You know, uh, we are not advocating about divorce. You know, it's good for somebody to stay in his marriage. It's good for somebody to, st to stick to stick to his marriage. It's good for somebody to try and make it work. And so there are those that decide to leave. Most men that decide to leave, when they leave, they leave for good. You know, when they leave, uh, uh, they just leave. They go to another marriage. They, they may be successful in it. They will not go through depression. They will not go through any hardship because it was decided even before it was announced to his pastor even before he had announced it to to the partner and so there is this other uh, 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 third person uh, that talk with the wife and they decide now this is let's just call it an end it's an enough is enough we, 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 there is no understanding this marriage. There is nothing we are, there's nothing positive that we are getting out of it. We've gone through this thing two years. It's not working. We've gone through it five years. It's not working. It's not, we're going, we've gone through it uh, uh, ten years. It's not working. We've been disagreeing and disagreeing and disagreeing. This is not how we started, but now we've been disagreeing for a long time. And so we want, I wanted to call an end. Why don't we call an end? Most of the time, such agreements such people that go through such agreement most of them they'll be back and forth 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 even the second person who decides to leave the man that decides to leave if he truly uh if he was a person that had not decided he would be back and forth back and forth back and forth trying to uh, make things work because it was not uh perhaps he was just 
testing the waters. Perhaps he was just wanted to see how the wife will take it. And so the third man I'm, that I'm talking about, the one that comes into an agreement with the wife, you know, it reaches a time that they'll be back and forth. Uh, they'll be seeing each other, trying to, to make things work. Uh, they'll be seeing each other, trying to, 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 to amend things, you see. Uh, for them that try to call it, that, that seek to call it uh, an end, you know, it, it really um, depends. But most of this is what happens. But there are those that when they call it an end, they just call it an end. You know, there are those that are truly, truly to what they, they stand for. And there are those that when they call it an end, they just call it an end. But most of the time, men, you know, men, men who sumbua. Wanaume who sumbua. So, tapata merudi, tapata mesumbua, tapata mekuja. Nasema sivyo hivyo ambo nikuwa natarajia. Tulizungumzi ya kwamba tuwa chane, lakini sivyo. Kwa hiyo, wanaume ambao wanaenda through divorce. Most of the time, most of them, I'm not talking about all of them, most of them. But there are those that are... When they call it an end, they just call it an end. There are those that when they leave, they just leave. But most of them, they will always be coming back to check. To check whether uh, uh, their former partner, to check whether they can proceed. To check whether, you know, they found, they found it that outside there it's not easy. So they will come back to check, to check whether they can uh, uh, push on or they can try it again. And so, but most men that go through divorce result to alcohol most most will result to alcohol most you'll find most in bars you'll find most drinking you'll find most doing crazy things you'll find most most will indulge into drugs just because of the depression just because of what they've gone through you know uh many will result into having so many women you know men that goes go through divorce uh, would result into having so many women, you know, they'll be having uh, women here and there, um, you know, trying to comfort themselves. Uh, this is a way of comforting themselves. Uh, so they will be having men here and women here and there, trying to sleep with women here and there, just to give themselves that comfort. But later on, they'll realize it is not, it's, it's not paying back. Later on, they realize this thing is not working. And so others... Uh, will lose themselves totally. I don't know if you've seen men that when they were married, they were excellent men, responsible men. They were men that used uh, to take care of themselves. They used to take care of, they used to dress well. They used to, um, uh, they were good. But when they go through divorce, they just, just lost themselves. You know, they just lost themselves totally. I've seen men that were divorced, that, that, that before they were divorced, they were very good men. They were, they were, uh, they knew what they were doing, you know, but when they went through divorce, they lost themselves. Even from the way when they go through divorce, the way they wear is not the way they used to wear. You know, they, the way they are is not the way they used to be. You know, they just lose themselves totally. They become rough. They lose their body weight. They lose their, 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 their patience. They lose their kindness. They lose everything. You know, there are those men that lose themselves. And there are those that have, uh, when they go through the divorce, they have low self-esteem. You know, uh, they, when, you, when you tell them to try something, they'll tell you, no, 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 I, I'm not going to try it. I know I'm not going to into another relationship. No, I'm not trying, I'm not doing any other business, you know. They just have a low self-esteem because they lost they went through a divorce. And most of them are those men that are left by their wife. You know, most men are those men that uh, through their marriage life, so many things happen. They were talked negatively. They were told that they are the ones that have that, that had the problem, you know. And so, so many things drove them back. So many things drove them back uh, into having low self-esteem. And so, there are men that when, when they go through divorce, they, they just have low self-esteem. I've met some of them, you know, uh, who had courage, who were bold. But after divorce, they just lost themselves. They have low self-esteem, you know. When you talk to them to try something, when you tell them to try another relationship, they'll tell you, no, it's not, it's, it will not work, you know. And there are those that go through depression. And a man that goes through depression, 
is a man that does not realize himself. They will go through depression. They will go through difficult times. But when you talk to them, when you try to tell them this is not the right way, they will not even, they cannot even see, they cannot even hear, you know. They cannot, they cannot even recall themselves, you know, because they are going through depression. You know, men are men that try to, to hold things back. And so, because they are trying to hold things back, it becomes one of the pillar that is used for them to go through depression. They don't talk to other people. They don't share to other people. They don't share their pain with other people. And because they don't share their pain with other people, they go through depression. And so they find he's so bitter. He find he's not seeing anything good in any person. He find uh, he's, he's just depressed. You know? And so... All the three men that I've talked about, they can go through this, you know. But I want to champion, if it ever happens that somebody goes through divorce, I'm talking about men. My third part, I'll be talking about women. So if somebody goes through divorce, I want to encourage such, such people to become bold. I want to challenge such people to be able to speak out, to be able to have the strength and the resilience, you know, and the power for a comeback, you know. I want to talk to such people that they should not give up. Don't give up when you go through such an experience. Don't give up when you go through such a difficult time. Don't give up. Just have the resilience, you know, fight that your inner being fight for you. Stand up and fight for yourself and say, yes, I went through this. Perhaps it was, it was never meant to happen. You know, perhaps it was a mistake, but I'm, I'm, I'm having a comeback. I'm having a comeback. And men, and I'm trying to, 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 to encourage you so that you don't go through alcohol. I'm, encourage, I'm trying to encourage you so that you don't go through depression, that you don't fall into many women, that you don't fall into low self-esteem, that you don't fall into all these negative things. I want you to have a comeback so that you can, you can, you can have yourself, so that you don't lose yourself, you know. Men lose themselves so that you, can, you don't lose yourself. So you need to have that comeback. You need to have that power of a comeback so that you, can, so that you don't lose yourself. Men, we should not lose ourselves because we are the heads, the heads of our families. There are so many people that depend on, on us. They are, we have relatives, we have our brothers and sisters, we have our uh, uh, um, extended families, you know. And even the marriage that you want to go through, if you, if you, if you, you think of remarrying, you know, you need to be a strong person, you know. You, need, you don't need to, you're not supposed to carry the things that you went through in your previous marriage into this next marriage. And so you need to be sober, very sober, that when you decide to go to another marriage, you're very sober, you will not walk in with the negativity that you found in your previous marriage. You know, it may, it, it, you know, there's so many things that can, can cause uh, people to go into divorce so that, so that you don't carry that into your next marriage. You don't carry that into your next relationship. You don't carry that into your next dating, you know. So I want, I'm advocating for men to stand up for themselves. I'm advocating for men to be sober. I'm advocating for men uh, to have a sound mind that you have that power to come back. Yes, you should have that power to come back. Thank you very much. I'll be doing part three of divorce, how women go through divorce, you know, and it will be exciting. So wait for them for my next episode. When I upload it, you shall see it. So make sure you hit the notification bell. So when I upload my next video, you'll be able to get it. Thank you very much. God bless you. Shalom.